Hello everyone, it's Terry here back on the channel today. Today I am sharing a project that I created using Colorado Crafts Company big and bowl stamp set called Chicuterie Board. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the image of the stamp set that I will be using. Colorado Craft Company has this line called Big and Bold and I honestly adore it. Look at all the details on this stamp set. And you know, I love Copic coloring, so this was right up my alley. Since I will be coloring the images in with Copic marker, I went ahead and stamped the images with a Copic friendly ink onto alcohol friendly cardstock. Here you can see how large the images are. I did also went and stamped the images twice. So after stamping the images, I went in and used my Copic markers to color it in. So for the charcuterie board, I started off with E29, E49, and E79. When I'm coloring, I like starting off with my lighter shade, then going in with the darker shade to create shadows, then using my mid-tone to kind of blend it all in. For the olives, I went in with BG93, BG96, YG99, and YG95. I also used BG70 and BG72 to color in the bowl. For the cherries, I went in with R46, R39, and R89. This stamp set was so fun to color. It just reminds me, I don't think a party is a party without a charcuterie board there. And for my family gatherings, I'm usually the one that provides this. And I just love it. I tend to go overboard with everything on the board itself, but you know what? That's the fun of it. You get a little bit of everything. So after I colored everything in, I went ahead with my white gel pen and went around to add little highlights here and there. So here I'm adding highlights onto the olives, as well as the fruits and crackers on the board. Okay, so off screen, I used the coordinating dies and die cut the images out on my die cutting machine. I will be attaching the pieces to my card front later. Okay, so for the background scene, I use an embossing folder by Altenu and use my black cardstock. I then went ahead and placed that in a splatter box and use white and gold paint to splatter that all over the black cardstock. Okay, so using one of the sentiments from the stamp set, I went ahead and ink stamped that onto white cardstock. And now, using the same embossing folder as earlier, I went ahead and ran this through my die cutting machine. I also went ahead and splattered this card panel as well, so using white and gold paint. Now it's time to assemble the card together. So I applied foam squares on one half of the charcuterie board and attached that onto the bottom of the card panel. I then went ahead and used my scissors and snipped the hanging part off. I then went ahead and applied foam squares onto the olive area and popped the colored one on top of that. I wanted to give this card a little bit more dimension. And of course, going in with my scissors, I snipped that part off as well. So now that the images are adhered to the white card front, I went ahead and used liquid adhesive and glued that down onto the black cardstock that we created earlier. And then using liquid adhesive, I glued that onto a side folding white card base. And here is the final card. So the other half of the image that we snipped off earlier, I went ahead and created a secondary card using one of the other sentiment on the stamp set. So here you can see the second card is exactly the same, but it's other half of the big and bold stamp. So that's the great thing about the stamp set. It's large enough to create two A2 size cards. And there you have it. This is the final card. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye bye.